Yeah, all right, kitties. <laughs> kitties. What if I did start calling you kitties? Making a whole new Charlie head. As always, when you start making a foam head, you always draw out everything. I hope this audio sounds good. It's coming from my headset. And of course, I said I was going to show you how I did the bucket head tutorial. Or method, whatever. All my stuff has to be tutorials because I really don't know what I'm doing with my life. This is your bucket head, which is not that hard to make when I jump cut to crafting the foam together. You're going to see how I do it. Or maybe not. No, maybe I'll just be really lazy and not do it. But this is for your eye. Your eye hole, make sure it's far enough so where you can see your hand on the side of your face. And they're close enough together to where you can see your hand if you put it in front of your face. But of course, whichever shape you want, you just start out with a muzzle. I hate doing drawing tutorials in any sort. Because I'm just not good at them. In my opinion, if... Like, I, I know I say, like, you could do anything. Like, I really believe that. But if you can't even, like, draw a stick figure and you want to make a fursuit kid, I'm sorry. You're going to have a lot of trouble. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I can help you, <laughs> I guess. You're going to always start out with these two pieces, which is a muzzle and a bottom jaw. And of course, I don't use the folding thing anymore. I actually draw the shape and the foam like that. And I just, I don't just glue it on like that. But but here's the bridge of the snout, which goes up. And the forehead, which goes around the eye and down connecting to the snout. This just gives, um, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know my anatomy. Like, I know what I'm doing, don't get me wrong, but trying to explain this stuff is hard. Also, with the brow bones, you can either do- let's, let's do a darker color. You can, you can either do, um, like a triangle or like just a straight up oval. I've done both and honestly, triangles are easier to work with when you're sewing. So, there you go. And your cheekbones. Like they say, the cheekier they are, the cuter it's gonna look. It's true. I'm not gonna lie. I make sure my cheeks reach. Like, this would be the ear right here. That That's an ear. Right behind it. Just, you know, to block their hearing. And the upper cheekbone covers more than half. Actually, we're gonna fill this out a little bit more. So now you just have this space in between here for your eye. Make your eye any shape you want. I always make them half circle because, you know, that's my style. Grumps. You know, I've tried to make a happy fursuit, but that turned out to be the grumpiest looking one yet. <laughs> of course, with your nose, you can choose to shape your nose now or you can add it on later. There's different types of noses. There's clay, like Sculpey clay. There's resin, latex, silicon, whatever. Now I make mine out of foam and I just glue it on and add that with the fur because it's way easier. Well, now that your foam work is done, I'm gonna actually, this is way too big, add a little bit more dimension to them. I always add some extra puff right here that connects with the upper cheekbone. And for the ears, the ears are always in the, um, it doesn't matter, whatever. Put your ears whatever you want. You can put them directly in the back of your head. I don't care if that's what your fursona looks like. Again, with my grump style, I always have the ears looking backwards. Make sure to add the foam structures and shapes and there you go you know you have your templates this really isn't that important i know there's some makers that um don't have a reference at all to what their foam work is going to be and they make amazing stuff like 
they just start gluing on foam and it looks good. I, I can't do that. I, I've never been able to do that. Even when I draw, I know people that can freeform draw without like the circles and the triangles and I don't know how they do that. I can't do that. Whatever. I'm tired.